Good morning. It's ten o'clock. I'm Nancy Sun, and it's time for Easy News on ICRT. The Taiex opened up seven point five points this morning. From yesterday's close at eight thousand four hundred and fifty, on turnover of one point eight billion NT. The Gaoshan Environmental Protection Bureau says a case involving charges advanced semiconductor engineering discharged toxic wastewater into an irrigation stream has been referred to the city's district prosecutor's office. The ASE has also been fined 600,000 NT and forced to suspend operations at its K7 plant in the Nanjing district. Bureau officials say they took the case to district prosecutors on suspicion ASE was intentionally releasing untreated wastewater into the Hojing Creek. President Ma Ying-jeou yesterday marked International Human Rights Day with a plea for peace, saying the prevention of armed conflict is key to safeguarding human rights. Speaking at a memorial concert in Taipei, Ma says the world must do its best to resolve disputes through peaceful means to prevent war and, by doing so, prevent cases of human rights infringement. Ma also addressed Taiwan's efforts to make advancements in human rights, noting the tragedy brought about by 38 years of martial law in front of an audience of 300 victims of political persecution and their families. The DPP yesterday accused several local banks of downgrading the island's sovereignty after they were listed as being part of Taiwan Province in full-page advertisements run by the China Construction Bank. In the advertisements, the Bank of Taiwan and several other local banks were listed as being not in Taiwan but on the island. The DPP is demanding the government fine China Construction Bank for breaking laws regarding the promotion of China's political agenda in Taiwan. The Environmental Protection Administration is warning people with allergies or respiratory diseases to take precautions when going outside today due to poor air quality. According to the administration, the poor air quality is due to stronger seasonal winds that could stir up dust and increase the concentration of particulates to over 100 micrograms per cubic meter, about twice the usual level. Northern and southern parts of the island are most likely to suffer from the poorest air quality today. In international news, a cross-party congressional budget committee convened after an October government shutdown has reached an agreement to fund federal services in the U.S. The deal finances the government for two years and reduces the federal deficit by 23 billion U.S. dollars. It also avoids automatically triggering another government shutdown on January 15th. The budget deal also offsets 63 billion in previously enacted automatic military and domestic spending cuts triggered in January when Democrats and Republicans failed to reach a budget compromise. The measure is expected to come before a vote in the House recess before the House recesses for several weeks, beginning on Friday. In Ukraine, hundreds of police have moved on a large protest camp in the center of the capital, Kiev. Reports say officers tried to break through the barricades close to the main opposition site on Independence Square. Images showed protesters in the square singing Ukraine's national anthem, and no clashes were reported. The government's decision to withdraw from a free trade deal with the EU has sparked huge street protests by the opposition. President Viktor Yanukovych said on Monday that government officials could visit Brussels this week to resume talks on the EU association agreement. And finally, a stuffed toy wolf from Swedish furniture giant IKEA has sold out in Hong Kong after it became an unlikely symbol of protest. Based on the Red Riding Hood fairy tale wolf, the toy flew off the shelves as people queued up for it in the morning, selling out by 11 a.m. An anti-government protester is said to have thrown the toy at Hong Kong's leader C. Y. Liang over the weekend. The toy's Chinese name sounds similar to Cantonese profanity, and critics have long nicknamed Liang the Wolf. Meanwhile, IKEA says that new stock of the wolf is expected in early J- January 2014. An education fund for UNICEF and Save the Children receives about 38 NT for every soft toy sold in IKEA. 
And now looking at the weather across Taiwan, according to the Central Weather Bureau, we can expect partly cloudy skies and occasional rain in the north with a high of 18 in Taipei, and partly cloudy skies with a high of 21 in Taichung and a high of 23 in Kaohsiung. Current temperatures now, Taipei 17, Taichung 17, and Kaohsiung 20. That's it for Easy News today. Remember, you can download a slower version of the news as well as a transcript with Chinese explanations on our website, www.icrt.com.tw. Just look for easy news.